Hi guys, I showed you this little car in my charity shop gold or garbage episode uh, a few days ago. I did a very quick review of it, but I didn't cover all the points on it. Uh, main thing is, there's no transmitter with it, but luckily I have quite a few 27 MHz transmitters that it works with. There's nothing written on it to say it's 27 MHz, but it is. So, if I turn it on, we get flashing lights, and it works. And that's all I covered in the review. But there's a few other things I ought to point out, if you should happen to see one of these in the shops. Not in its original packaging, and not with the transmitter i.e. just like I bought it from the charity shop. First thing, I'll just turn it off again, is the batteries. I didn't even take the battery cover off to look in the review, but there's a problem. They are rechargeable batteries. So, you really need the proper recharger, or charger, to go with it. Otherwise you're a bit stuck, because you can't just stick four AA batteries in there, there's nothing to plug them into. There is a little power socket just here. That's the power socket. And there is nothing there, there's a little diagram, but there's nothing there telling you what the voltage is. So, as I say, you're a bit stuck. If you don't have the right charger to go with it, you're not going to be able to charge it. Now, by trial and error, knowing that there's four AA equivalent batteries in there, NICAD batteries, it's 4.8 volts. So that should plug into an ordinary USB lead and should be okay. So we have a problem. Just take the bottom off again. That battery doesn't come out. It's wired inside so we're going to have to take it apart and have a look if there's any way of um, charging that battery because at this moment I don't think I've got anything that's going to plug into that little power socket the battery leads coming up and they're directly wired onto the on-off switch there and that's the charger socket there So that's not good. I'll have to go and see uh, if I can find anything that will plug into that little socket. Or rewire it. type of socket that I can deal with. That's probably the easiest option. And I'll have to have a look online just to see if there's any details I can find out about it. Or maybe pick one of the ones up in the shop that I've seen and read the details there. The other thing that I was going to show you is if you push the switch all the other way to the other direction 
it's got a demo mode. Well, I say demo, it just plays music rather loudly. I won't play much of it, otherwise I'll get a copyright strike, I expect. That'll do. So you can have music while you drive your car. But at the moment, we're not going to be driving it for very long, because the battery's going to run out. I left this running whilst we went out shopping. In fact, it's been running for about four and a half hours now. It certainly lost the volume. The LEDs are just about flashing. I don't know if you'll be able to see them in this light. And there's still a bit of noise coming out of it but it's pretty flat and if I try using the control with it then that kills it totally. So I shall now see if we can charge it. I've had a good hunt through all my bits and pieces and I've got an old Nokia phone charger here that says it puts out 5.7 volts and it's the same size plug. So I shall see if that will charge it. I haven't even checked whether the polarity is right. I shall just go and plug it in and try it. I don't suggest you try this at home. Uh, certainly not unsupervised because it might overheat. But we'll see what happens. I've plugged it in, it's only been in there for seconds. So it does sound like we're putting power in there. So I think I'll leave it for a while. Not sure how long would be a good idea. Maybe half an hour just for testing purposes. And we'll come back and see if it runs. So I'm a bit worried. That may be too much power going in there, 5.7 volts for a 4.8 volt battery. I certainly won't leave it unattended. We'll just see what happens. Well, it's been charging for about half an hour now. The batteries don't feel warm at all. The charger itself is just gently warm, so I don't think it's struggling or anything. If we unplug it, sounds like it's back up to full strength. I'll put the battery cover back on and see if it drives. I won't drive it with the music playing, as I say, that worries me about copyright infringement. So we'll just try it normal. So, it looks like we've been able to charge it. Using the old Nokia phone charger. Which, as I say, is rated at 5.7 volts, 1000 milliamps. And just happens to have the same size plug on it to match the socket in the car. So, we are saved. I thought we'd got junk and I was going to have to change the battery out. But we're okay. If you happen to have a spare old style Nokia charger.